Do you ever just play a game that's such a nice, warm, soft hug? A game that makes you feel like you're unwinding from a bad day and just going to have a good, relaxing time? Yeah, that's this game. Welcome back. This is Mumfied Games. My name is Tony. And today we're going to be talking about the lovely little quiet game, A Short Hike. This is such a lovely game. So nice and easy. It's one of those games where nothing bad is going to happen to you and you're allowed to explore. This game gives you a quest and you can work on it or not, it's up to you. There are a bunch of things to collect in this game, but not too much. It's an atmospheric, relaxing exploration game. You play as a bird named Claire, who is distracted and a little bit up in their head about something going on back home with their mom. They were waiting for a phone call for most of the morning, but it never came. They were told by their aunt, I think, if I remember correctly, that there's no cell phone service. And if they wanted to, then they need to climb to the top of Hawk Peak to make a call. That's the tallest point on this island getaway. That's when you're set off on your quest. From here, you'll explore the island and collect special items like shells and coins, find and retrieve other items for other people. There was a time where you needed to find a shovel so that way you could dig up these markers on the ground. So you need to go off and find a beach trowel so that you can trade it with this sandcastle kid for his real shovel and other things like that. Right now I'm listening to the soundtrack and it's honestly putting me to sleep while writing this. So why don't I take this time to talk about the music for a sec? That way I can move on from listening to the soundtrack and listen to something more high energy. The soundtrack is so soft and cute. It's such an easy calming thing. If you need to put on something that's lo-fi and easy to listen to without any big lyrics, then this should definitely be added to your playlist. Okay, so the music is chill. Let me just move the music over to something a bit more bumping while I write this. Okay, Rocket League soundtrack, that's much better. Anyway, you play as the bird and you run all over doing fun different things. You buy the last piece of merch from the trading post, go fishing, have a race, participate in a marathon, drive a boat, visit a lighthouse, collect seashells, find looking glasses to peer out from, and many other little fun things you can find your way up the mountain. Along the way, you learn about these golden feathers that you can pick up that let you climb higher and flap your wings while midair giving you double jumps, essentially. You can collect multiple feathers and they drain when you're climbing and flapping your wings. Then when you touch the ground or stop climbing, they refill, a nice soft mechanic. You pretty much slowly make your way to the top of the island and then the game is over. This game's fun is 90% the journey along the way. Then a good payoff to making it to your end goal. This game is not terribly long. You might be able to beat it in two or three hours, depending on how much you try to 100% the game. I had such a relaxing time playing this game, there were a couple of times that I found myself laughing at the cute little jokes. I don't want to give anything away that might be in the game because so much of this game is the discovery of what things are and finding out what visitors need. Okay, that I will give away. The last bit of merch they have for the season is a park ranger hat and it's such a nice accessory that you get to wear. It's just really cute. The art style is a delight as well. The whole game is sort of low poly. It looks almost like if the characters from A Night in the Woods were in 3D and then Swimming in the water reminds me of Wind Waker, the way it flows and how you move in it. I'm sorry, but there's not much more to say about it. I have a hard time finding any faults with it. Oh, other than the locked camera, sometimes the camera moves as you move from one zone to another, and you might be in the middle of flying or trying to make it as quickly as possible from one spot to another, but then the camera might move to another spot, making it a slightly less optimal path. This can be annoying at times, but if you miss your goal, you can just climb back up and try again, or maybe even find a treasure in the place you failed. I can't really find anything to knock in this game. It's just straight up and down good time. For folks who did play this game, what were your thoughts? What was your favorite part or discovery? For those of you who haven't played this game, are there any other relaxing atmospheric games in this racial justice bundle that you think I should check out? Or is there another game you think that you would really want me to play? Let me know in the comments. In the meantime, I might just plan some time off to go spend some quiet time in a state park nearby. Now that everything's opening back up, you all do the YouTube dance. Like, sub, bell, share, and let me know what you think. And as always, friends, keep digging, and we'll make it out sometime. See you in the next one.